All right, we're back with this uh, Dodge truck head disassembly process. You can see here a blue tape around. I've got various connections marked. Uh, you can know this well enough, have it figured out to be able to connect it all up just fine. But having everything marked just makes it a lot, lot faster when you go in and put everything back together. So I've used the blue tape everywhere with little notes. Uh, and in the meantime, I made this video because I wanted to point something out as they're disassembling this. See, I've got all the injectors disconnected here. Gives us access to the bolts, to the intake manifold here to take the intake manifold off along the side. But what I wanted to mention on this video was, here's the fuel rail. You don't need to take that off at all unless you're going to plan to rebuild your injectors here. Uh, if you're just going for the head removal, you can take this intake manifold off as an assembly. You don't need to dismantle these injectors. Uh, if it's like mine, it's 20 years old, you're likely to break any one of these plastic injectors just by disassembling it. So it's best to leave it in place. Also, this uh, throttle body connections sometimes can be a little tricky. I'll just show you here one of them. Uh, here they are. So to disconnect these throttle body cables, you see they got a little slot in there. So, you know, just push them straight back and they'll pop off. Every one of them is like that. And then each one of them has a little bit different collar. Here it is. So these collars all work a little bit differently. They have a little tab. You got to press it just right to release it. Uh, so they're made of plastic. They're likely to break. But if you got, aren't patient with them, you might have a hard time getting them out of here at this bracket. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the one in the back. And it just has a tab on the top and the bottom when it was slid in here. And this obviously is the connector that I just showed you that just slides off there and pops off. This here, you've got to press it on the top and press it on the bottom. I did it with a screwdriver. You can alternate, press the top down, tilt it back, then press the bottom and take it the rest of the way out. This one over here, you see it has this cutout here. You got to kind of lift the little rubber tab out of there to be able to slide the whole thing up. And then this one, the same, has that top and bottom clip. You got to press down on the plastic, get the top to tilt, and then press up on the bottom and slide it through there. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'm going to continue on with the process and make another video once I have this intake manifold off and the exhaust manifold, and I'm getting ready to take the heads off.